welcome back you guys welcome back to ironclad rc uh today we're going to be working on the blackjack 24 i've actually recently flipped this boat the cow the hatch come flying off the boat and i've got to fix it we're going to fix it today uh we're going to use some water weld and plastic bonder I'm leaning more toward the plastic bonder than the water well, so we may or may not use this, not sure yet. Finish it all off to give its final touch, we're going to add the vinyl, carbon fiber vinyl, kind of dress up the bad spot on the outside, a little custom sticker to kind of match the, the scheme of the boat. But I'm going to walk you through it, so stick around, stick around, don't blink, don't blink, Big B here with Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that big good good. Ring the bells and all those whistles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get to it. We gotta clean the hatch. I'm gonna use simple green to clean all the grease off the underside of the hatch. Whether it be uh, for plastic or metal, anything, you have to sand it. You gotta use sandpaper to rough up the bad spot. Rough up around where you're gonna be sanding so that your adhesives will stick and bond and grab onto the material you're, you're bonding. Some 80 grit to rough this up. because I'm, I'm gonna put it all back on this back line here. So we got it roughed up pretty good. Got it roughed up pretty good, huh? Yeah. I'm bonding, we're bonding. <laughs> you get it? So I want to kind of break it apart like so and I'm going to try to get that bonder in between the crack anywhere it's cracked anywhere I could pull it apart and put this bonder on see what I'm doing Plastic bonder worked really well, really good. It's super strong. Putting some pressure on it, it's not breaking loose. Uh, this side I didn't go too heavy on the lip, and I have a little crack again. But this side I went heavy, and it actually uh, bonded pretty well, pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Dremel with a sanding wheel and kind of knock this down a little bit because I'm going to use this drywall like tape in conjunction with the plastic bonder and that's gonna back it up like nice like it, yeah and I kind of adapted this from the ground guys and their body tape but why not it works so um, we're gonna use this with this I got it fared out basically. I kind of uh, feathered the edges down a little bit so that they meet up to the plastic nice and smooth. Wait, wait, what? Drywall tape? What? Use this as like a reinforcement, kind of like a fiberglass cloth on, on the lid itself. So it's got a little square cut. Kind of use it like a like a fiberglass mat you know to keep this all in place always use protection protect your lid from the adhesive sealants with some tape tape it up I'm 
computer. Not a wheel. Still another wheel. We're going to use the plastic binder just like we would uh, if we were laying up a sheet of fiberglass. Uh, just basically laminate the drywall tape onto the hatch using the plastic binder. Gotta get smart. Gotta get smart. And then we'll leave that little bit of extra, that, that extra stuff right there, and we'll sand that off later on. Gonna strip out the drywall tape so I can put it on the back of the lid. I'm gonna brush the plastic welder onto the lid and then stick this down. You got me? piece right here and put over the whole back of it I was going to use the water weld as a backer for strength but I think that the drywall tape is going to do the trick jeez why didn't somebody tell me about this sooner god and it actually looks pretty good with that drywall tape back there. It don't look bad. Like I said, this is a broken lid. I can uh, I get a new one. I'm gonna get a new one. This is just a temporary fix so I can go run my boat without any issue. Well, you know we're gonna have issues. This is Ironclad RC. We got issues. <laughs> gonna kind of spread it out like we were uh, laying some fiberglass I'm gonna try to get this all all in those little nooks and crannies in this drywall tape that's gonna be what's gonna strengthen it up and hold it all together so That's it, we're gonna let it dry and uh, see how it works. See how well it come out. Wait, wait, what? Drywall tape? Wow. All I have to say is wow. That plastic bonder is pretty good too. I like it. I'm glad I didn't use the water weld because that stuff's really hard. It's hard like as a rock. If, if I would have put that on the hatch, it would have made it, one, it would have made it heavy. And two, it wouldn't have had any flex. This plastic bonder by JB Weld has flex. It's got the flex that we want. You know? Oh man, I'm, I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked. Look at that. Look. Look, I'm pushing, pushing hard. Look at that. It's on there. Oh, it's on there. Now this will work for your hull. I think it'll work for a hull below the water line on an RC boat. And uh, you know, you could always use a sticker to cover up the outside. The inside's the most important part. As long as it's watertight, I think we'd be good to go. This stuff works. So now uh, I'm gonna cut the vinyl. I got this vinyl here we're gonna cut out. I've actually used just like a piece of pl just plain paper and cut out my little design. Cut it out of the vinyl. I'm gonna bend it over the lips so it covers up the little bad spots there. Cut the same one for each side. I think that's gonna look pretty cool when it, you know, black, carbon fiber, that, that ought to cover it up pretty good. Yeah, that ain't going nowhere. Where you going? Nowhere.
<laughs> and it looks good, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It makes it makes you feel so good when you fix something, you know. It's a, you never know how it's gonna come out, but you take your time and you do it right. And, and it's just uh, oh, it's so rewarding when you're done. I just cut those pieces of vinyl and, and stuck over the bad spot. Drywall tape with the plastic binder, you guys. If you got a hole in your boat. If you got a hole in your hatch. If you got a crack in ABS. Uh, anything, you know, plastic, anything. That stuff right there is the bee's knees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it turned out good. I took my time. So I hope this helps somebody out. I hope this helps someone out out there. I hope you uh, gained a little bit of knowledge. Anyway, I, I just want to say thank you guys for all the all the views, all the likes, comments. Thank you guys. It helps out a lot. It helps the channel out a lot, and uh, we're growing the channel. So I just want to say thanks. Big V here with Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Big V with Ironclad RC. We'll see you guys next time.